Well, I am recording now. There I go. Oh, you are. But I guess that's um, I had I had two other speakers on tonight that I actually was going to try to get on, but one of them <laughs> is actually having a really difficult time trying to figure out all of this like Google Hangout software and um, trying to figure out how to actually get on. So I mean, no, I'm just gonna go with the flow right now because that's all I can do, and <laughs> I've already like gathered the whole troop, and <laughs> I'm just gonna just keep talking. Um, but yeah, most of you know, like this is this is an Empower Network related hangout. As much as I love all of you individually as people, so I'm I'm just gonna kind of try to keep this like relevant and brief and everything because I know all of you have things to do, people to see, places to go. And I know Stephen, you're a lurker because you just kind of have been seeing me around and everything like that. And and Julia's a lurker too, so I'm just kind of allowing her to be, be in on this because it's it's kind of fun. So. Um, Michael and both Michaels and Dave are a part of my team, and I have a bunch more people who unfortunately couldn't make it, but I guess I'll have to host some other hangouts some other time where it's uh, job appropriate for people. <laughs> I guess there's a lot of people actually working right now, but... Um, Any Hoozles, the blog beast, it just launched on uh, Friday. So there's been a lot of kind of hubbub and excitement about that just because um, it's, I don't know if anybody have, has used it. Dave, you've said you've used it, and you think it's pretty pretty cool. Um, I've not really explored it in depth, but I'm familiar with social media technologies, so I took a, a quick skim, and even just on, on that, I could tell that it's, it's pretty progressive, and I'm looking forward to exploring that even more. It looked very simple and straightforward and it kind of it, it's kind of like 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 WordPress, Facebook and Tumblr all rolled into one, but take most of the BS and delete it. Yeah. And you just kinda of got the, like the core the core frame. It was so funny. I was watching I mean, one of I was watching one of the promo videos for it today and um they were, they were showing how quickly you can actually set up your blog, and they were like doing a time lapse next to cooking a pancake, and you can actually set up your blog faster than cooking a pancake, like compared to like WordPress, Facebook, and like cooking a pancake and setting up your Empower Network blog, and it's pretty simple. So some of the highlights about it are B B R B B R B. All right. So um, some of the highlights about it, though, is that uh, you can actually have multiple blogs from one account, and there's just like a whole bunch of different highlights and stuff like that that you know I'm I'm happy to share and everything like that because I know some of you are kind of um, not really sure what this is, but it, it but it is pretty progressive and pretty cool, and I like to answer questions, and a lot of you are kind of. Um, just sort of like just starting out like even some of the people that are on my team they're not really like they haven't really gotten to where they want to be with it and that, my my goal really is to be here for you to like kind of answer your questions and really to help move you forward in whatever way you need so um, feel free to like ask questions in the group chat and I'll answer them for you um, and you new people who are just like listening in on this like do you have any questions for me before I move forward Nope. You're yeah. going to go to you? What? You're going to go to what you do now? Yeah, I basically. can talk about more of what I do. You're going to explain it. Okay. Okay, yeah. So I'm just um, little, so. I can kind of do a screen share thing, too, if I will help out anybody. I have, like, a million things open, so don't mind my tabs. Okay. Oh shit, that's so crazy looking. You're black. <gasps> wow. Can you guys can you guys see some stuff? That was the most freaky thing ever. What? I just saw like infinite like of our window. There it is. I know it goes like that when I open on this window. But I my my question is can you see this? Yes. Okay. You can see that this is my blog, right? Yeah, it looks pretty. So I've been kind of messing around with it, Julia. Like I told you that you can definitely like customize stuff, and 
make things more personal to you. And, um, like, people can literally have, like, kitten blogs and, like, crazy shit like that. But, um, ew. Hang on a second. My Google Chrome's being weird. Let me figure this out for a second. What are you doing? You're a blog beast? Okay. He's distracting from you. Yeah. He is super distracting. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, Ben. What's up? How are you? Somebody talk for a second while I kind of figure out what's going on with my uh, Google Chrome really quick. Hi, I'm a blog beast. Really, Dave? I'm You're a, a blog beast? Teddy bear blog beast. Oh. <laughs> no, he's a blog beast. See, he's my blog beast. He's frozen. I've had him since I was like three or something like that. He's my uh -huh. blood beast. Right. <laughs> Hello? She's talking about the blogging platform. Um, oh, you all know you it's didn't answer. Funny. You didn't get on the right call. Okay, it, it's a Google Hangout. You press on the link that I sent you. One of the callers is trying to, or the people that are here trying to get on. Anyways, okay, now I got this fixed. It'll go into Infinity right here. Alrighty. All right, this is the back office of Blog Beast. Um, you can see Michael's post right here. Good day, y'all. <laughs> but the cool thing about this is, like, these are some people that are on my team and everything, and um, it kind of shows up in, like, this, like, Facebook interface timeline. And for anybody who really wants to see more of, like, what um, is behind Empower Network, like, they can definitely, like, go to some of the videos and stuff and get more of a feel for it, but... I'm just kind of showing more of, like, the back office of, like, what it is that you actually get when you're a part of the Empower Network. So we have, like, all of these different core training products. And, Stephen, to answer some of your questions, what Empower Network is is we're, like, this really, really amazing blogging system platform that is also, like, a marketing training academy, really. And you can do a lot with this. Um... And that's kind of what it is that I wanted to talk to all of you about individually, is what is your goal with um, using Empower Network, and how can I best help facilitate you with that? Because there is a whole bunch of things that you can do, like, for instance, um, oh, wait, someone just told me that they were getting on, but they lied. <laughs> There's a whole bunch of things that you can do to facilitate like, whatever it is that your goal is online. Like, there are people who literally want blogs just so they can blog about their cats. Like, for me, I like to incorporate more of, like, my spiritual, like, an artistic stuff and have a place to really showcase that. So now with this new blog beast, it will be easier than ever for me to do that because, you know, we have, like, these really awesome mobile apps that um, you can just sort of, like, one, two, click, touch, and upload your videos, upload your content straight to your blog. Like, there were a couple blogs here that I did just straight from my phone. And, um, and it was pretty amazing, actually. Like, I did this blog right here, just straight from my phone. And I was actually sitting on the bus in California and just uploaded it, and it was good to go. And some of the cooler features, too, up here, I mean, if any of you have used WordPress, you can you know how much of a pain in the ass it can be and um, to get anything done. I have messed around with WordPress for a little while and I actually only had ever like made it sort of a, a half blog of mine just because I never really wanted to use it. But the cool thing about this is um, with the custom domains that you have, you can actually get a domain and mask your link and then it can post directly onto uh, Facebook because everybody knows that Facebook hates us. And uh, we all have our own conspiracy theories about that. But, 
you can um, make this as network marketing or any sort of genre of marketing that you want. It does not have to be all about Empower Network. Um, I have yet to switch out some of these banners of mine, um, but I'm going to make them more themed to me. And the cool thing is, is when I click on this link here, and Stephen, this is kind of to answer some of your questions. This here is a call to capture page, and this is how I can generate my marketing list. Uh, most of you here, obviously, are on my list, and I will post these links to Facebook and actually be able to generate traffic and leads to my business. Because what happens is this video, like the, there will be a video that happens on the other side of this page. They'll type in their email address, you know, one, two, three, four, five at whatever.com. I mean, it's not going to actually work because you need a legit address, and I've already entered all of mine. But um, so the point of that is, is that this is how we market online. And in this, in a nutshell, you have banners, you have ads and stuff like that, and you can be an affiliate for the company, and you sell a blogging platform, which is one of the best, I mean, if not the best, blogging platform there is. Like, here, just look at this. You can set up another blog just with this button right here, add new blog. Can, is everybody following this just fine? Am I lagging at all? Yeah. Is this good? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So, you know, I love cats or whatever you know you can go next <laughs> um, it'll take some time for it to upload and everything like that but I can have my own like I love cats blog and it'll be totally rad you know and I can post pictures of cute kitties and then I can post it around to like relevant groups and then generate traffic but like that is one of the cool things too about some of the platform um, the I'm just gonna go back to my home page. Some of the just trying to navigate this really quick. But um, some of the products that we have, and uh, by no means am I like trying to upsell people or like telling them to do something that they want to do. I I'm, I operate mostly on like a premise of if you feel it, go for it but I'm never trying to push anyone to do anything they don't want to do. But with that said, I am all in. I do have all of these products right here, the Blog Beast Inner Circle, Costa Rica Intensive, 15K Formula, and Master's Course. And what all of these do is, like, I, I explained it to Julia once, but, like, this is, like, kind of the academy, so to speak. Like, this is, like, Empower Network Academy. Like, because it has everything that people would really need in one place to really learn how to market online. Because the people who are teaching this are people who have built, you know, six-figure, seven-figure, eight-figure even incomes online. And um, they teach you everything that you will need to know in order to be a good marketer. As well as just, like, there's a bunch of personal development um, aspects to this as well that are really cool. And they really kind of encourage you to just be yourself. And a lot of the growth that I've had happen in the past couple months has really come from delving into these courses and, you know, just following people that are relevant online and everything, but they just, um, it's not a lot of fluff, like I see in a lot of other personal development courses and everything like that, like these are people who are just everyday regular people, it's, you know, one of the owners had like a raging drug addiction for like 10 years and has totally turned his life around, gotten his family back, everything like that, as well as build, like, this multi-million dollar business. And, um, you know, he has a lot of wisdom to share and a lot of stories to share and just a lot of really, really important life lessons and business lessons, too. So I think that is probably one of, like, the highlights of all of this is just that they have been able to teach as they've been going and everything that there were pitfalls and all of their like triumphs and all of the strategies that they've learned along the way these are all relevant strategies and techniques today um, 15k formula is a product where they really go in depth on 
um, teaching, you know, like content mastery, creating traffic through compelling content, you know, syndication strategies for blog traffic, um, learning how to create like influential videos and really using uh, your words for pers persuasion. And um, SEO, if anyone has tried to blog before, like how many of you have tried to blog before and like kind of not understood some of these concepts? Anybody? Nobody? Or, or are you guys all like SEO geniuses? Um, anyone who's tried to blog, you said? Anyone who's did tried it. to blog and like um, done anything with like SEO. Did, did, do any of you know what SEO is? I know what that is. Okay. So have you tried using it? No, but I was about to. <laughs> okay. What about you, Stephen? I don't really know much about you, but um, have you tried blogging before? No, not really. Okay. Um, just kind of by a show of hands, like, or, you know, you can just shout out. Like, I know that Dave is really into um, social media and, like, having businesses online and stuff like that. Um, and he is really, really good at YouTube, and I actually want to do a couple partner things with him, just kind of him sharing some of his YouTube strategies and stuff like that because he gets, you know, millions of views, and it's really quite cool. But, um... Julia, you are working on just your Shamhat's bedroom, right? Like, well, let's kind of change thing. the name, but yeah. Okay, so you're wanting to really go forward with that, and that's like what your focus yeah. is, right? Yeah, that's definitely, yeah. I mean, I've changed the name, and I'm eventually going to make, I think, make it like a brand under my name. Mm -hmm. So it'll be like whatever I, you know, it'll be more flexible. I have That's my awesome. domains and stuff. I just have to set up a pretty website for myself. Exactly. And um, I'll, I'm going to, sorry for the screen from hell really quick, but Michael. That's so trippy. I know it is really trippy. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to read the group chat because I don't want to leave out the Michaels here. Um. Michael said that the SEO video helped a lot out in the mastery training. And there's also like an 11 day mastery training course that is completely free with the $25 blog. Um, totally free. Like, and it gives you like the bare bones basics of what you really need to do. Like basic SEO, basic um, just, you know, how to set up an autoresponder, how to have like create your first email list. Like anybody who wants to have a business online absolutely needs an email list because you want to be in contact with the people who are looking at your content so you can be in their face like on a semi-regular basis. Um, I have messed around with email lists like quite a bit just ranging my tone and everything like that and I think I now have kind of honed in on what works for me. I'm not a very aggressive marketer. I've tried being an aggressive marketer and it just does not fit for me. <laughs> I'm way too laid back. But <laughs> um, so I think it all kind of is it's a big process of just kind of like, you know, traversing the mountain of you. Like you're really trying to figure out like what works for you, who you are, how you want to display yourself online and you know, you're you're this is a, a learning process. This is like an ever growing process. And Oh my gosh, I totally muted myself. What the heck? Um, where was I? What was the last thing you guys heard me say? We were talking about marketing. Okay, because I said a whole bunch of cool shit after that. <laughs> it makes me feel silly. But um. <laughs> oh, oh, you said you said you're not much of an aggressive marketer. Yeah, about traversing the mountain of you. Thank you, Michael. But it's true, though, because this, this is, like, a really big journey. Entrepreneurship is a big journey for people, and it really teaches you a lot about yourself. And, you know, anybody who's been online for a little while, you know, Dave, 
he's learned a lot about himself through being online, and um, I mean, that's kind of why I call this Be, Be You to the Fullest, is because this is really all about you discovering more of who you are and being able to make a living at it at the same time and pursuing your passions and pursuing what it is that you want to represent online as well as you know being able to be as free as you want and being able to live the life that you want really so um, do, you, do I have any questions before I move on? No, no questions. I have a question. Yeah, um, go for it, Steven. I have a question. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah. Um, have a sort of theme that you go for on your blog then? Okay. Yeah. So you and usually that's, just pick something and stick with it. When, when you kind of brand the blog to you um, and not so much to, like, you know, I love cats or something, um... Oh yeah, sorry, Dave. <laughs> the when you brand the blog to something like here, I'll go back to my blog. Mine is more more. Most of my posts have really been, you know, sort of enlightened entrepreneurship, um, kind of talking about more inspirational stuff, stuff that really helps people along the journey because I know that if people are reading my blog they're probably entrepreneurs like I, I kind of think about my target audience like that's really what marketing boils down to is finding a, having a solution to problems that people are facing and I found that for me where I can really deliver on a solution is you know with you know, like sort of the um, the internal factors. There's some people who have like way better technical blogs than me and I'm more than happy to link people to those blogs but me I kind of focus on the inner game more than anything and so that's why my stuff is really like sort of uplifting because um, I'm branding that, that. Does that make sense? So if you were to go through my um, my stuff yeah. it would be more focused on that kind of thing. Like even some That's of the things that I reblog, um, like you know, talking about transformation, change, like internal stuff. And Steven, since you're familiar with Course of Awakenings, I'm sure you, this is not foreign to you. <laughs> Correct? Okay. So Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, that's a little bit. What? What'd you say? What did you say? Me? Michael Edwards. Eventually, I probably will market up things other than Empower Network products. Um, but what, what this is really doing is giving me a chance to learn while I earn. Um, and to really learn like the basics of marketing. So basically think about this as like I am in a paid internship at a school or, of, or, or some sort of thing. Like because eventually the, the idea is to be able to empower me as a marketer and as an entrepreneur to really have the fundamental basics of what I need to do and go forward with whatever project it is I want to do on my own. Like, my thing is I really want to be able to have my art out on the internet in a really big way. And what these products are doing, it's like classes that I'm taking. Because I, I took a couple years of college. I hated it. I don't know if any of you else, like, went to college and it just didn't fit for you. Um, like, I know that Dave just straight up didn't go to college, but, you know, he... There, what is that saying? There's, like, you know... Um, a traditional education will make you a living, um, self-education will make you a fortune or something, that kind of thing. But I think that this is kind of more in line of what I was looking for because the story of how I found this was really that I, I was actually in a, like, a really low place before I found this because I was kind of on the verge of, who, who's typing? Dave, is that you typing? Or Julia or something? 
Whoever is typing, could you mute your microphone? Because it's really loud in my ear. Um, I was typing, but I was also muted, so it wouldn't have been me you were hearing unless uh, my consciousness could magically transcend the mute <laughs> and telepathically fe feed into the uh, thing. So I'm going to go back to muting. Uh, okay, I'm not typing, so I'm just kind of clicking around. But anyways, back on topic. So basically what I'm trying to say is that, like, school, all of that bullshit, like, I really just didn't jive with it. And, you know, kudos to you if you went to school and you really liked it. Like, that's awesome. My boyfriend, you know, he's in his last year of transportation engineering at a university local here. But, you know, he likes it. And for me, I've always been more of an alternative person who um, just really wanted to have my own path. But, you know, a couple months ago, I... I had been doing some dealings with some people who were quite flaky and, you know, promising me the world, basically, and they just never delivered on anything, and they never delivered on the mentor mentorship they promised me, and there was just a lot of problems that came up from me depending on someone else to kind of help me get forward in uh, my business online, and I spent about two years in that state, and it was very frustrating to me, and I never really saw any progress until... I happened to see, you know, one of Justin Verengia, who is, he's my mentor, and um, and I pass along some of his stuff from time to time, just because I want you to be able to see that as well. Um, like the 11-day the mastery course is something that he did and put together, and helped me immensely. But for him, um, he kind of had the same sort of path as me, and uh, you know, struggled online for a long time, and then he found, you know, the, the Daves, and, like, that sort of mentorship, so it's been, like, this, like, family tree of mentorship, and everybody kind of, like, learns from everybody here, and that's why we call ourselves the Empower Network, is because it's, like, just this network of people who are empowering themselves to get further in their life as well as their businesses, and, you know, be conscious about it at the same time, you know, if you ever spend a significant amount of time around us, you'll see that it's not, like, a competitive environment by any means. Like, even people who are, like, leaders, like, and have, like, mega organizations and they are doing really, really cool things in their lives and in their businesses and stuff, they're not um, super competitive or anything. You know, they all really support each other and they all treat each other as equals. and they treat you as an equal because they believe that you can do it too because they've all been in the same boat of like really struggling in this really complicated online marketing world and if you, if you haven't spent significant time trying to like do stuff online um, maybe you don't really realize like how complicated it can be and how much of a time suck it can be like I have spent literally days on end trying to set up things and you know, I used to spend so long just trying to get my blog to look right, like on fucking WordPress. I hated WordPress so much. <laughs> I was so happy when they switched to this system because they used to actually use a WordPress uh, sort of spin-off, and it absolutely sucked. But anyways, like, you know, like a 15-minute blog would take me like an hour, and that would just be more less time that I could spend with my boyfriend or with my friends, and just it really irritated me. So... Um, Anyways, all in all, like, this is uh, what I'm up to, and I am pretty passionate about it because I just feel that what it's done for people so far already and, like, the potential of what it has to do now, like, with this really, really simple blogging platform is, it, it's, it's really endless, guys, and if you haven't seen, like, the the video series that they did for the blog, blog Beast launch, like, I, I would really recommend it because it's quite hilarious and, you know, they're really wanting to branch out to quite a wider audience because up until now, um, it was only really relevant for, like, network marketers because people really wanted, like, a business opportunity. But what we're really wanting to show people is that this is so much more than just a freaking business opportunity. This is not like some get-rich-quick scam. Like, this is something that you actually have to put effort and time into because, like anything in life, if you want it to bear fruit and if you want it to grow, you need to 
invest some time in it. And we're not saying like hours and hours and hours a day. Like this can literally be done in like one, two hours a day. And it's not anything like super time consuming. And like the whole point of having um the whole point of having something that is like mobile as well as having like like blog apps and stuff like that. Like you can actually blog on the go, you can check your emails and stuff on the go, you can run your entire business from your phone. And for somebody like me who really loves to travel and somebody like me who really likes to um, not be tied to my laptop all day, like I really like actually having a life. Um, <clears throat> that is that is pretty important to me. And um, yeah, I mean this is this is I tried raising my hand for quite a while. Tried doing the quiet thing, but you're just as talkative as me, so I'm afraid I'm just gonna have to. Burst oh, I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't see it. I couldn't see it. Sorry. So yeah, go ahead and burst in it anytime you have something really? to say, guys. Yeah. Okay. Cause um yeah, I didn't I didn't want to do that because I you know this is your hangout and I didn't want to like railroad you or anything. <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, I, this is the team hangout. To yeah. Um, based on what you were saying before, as far as you know, being a, a network of people who empower themselves and inspire each other, so on and so forth. Um, I've noticed one of the the classic traps that people get into is when they treat empower network the way they treat everything else, and they kind of put it up on this pedestal. Um, I guess the best way to say it is that, like, as an analogy, when we learn how to use a hammer, there's a way to use a hammer, rules and instructions to use a hammer. But you can create with that hammer whatever you want. What society teaches us to do is make ourselves the hammer. So then we try to live our lives by the instructions that are only for use with the hammer. And if you're going to live life being a hammer, you're not going to accomplish too much because you need a lot more than one tool. you got to be yourself. Well, as you said before, it's 90% mindset and 10% tools. Mm -hmm. So people have this mindset to where they're making the tools their masters. When these tools are supposed to be used with your own creativity. You have to figure out how to use them your way. But exactly. so many people drive themselves insane, absolutely insane. We both know other people who have done it. You've done it. Um, it but it's one of those lessons that those people who are doing it have to learn on their own. Because, you know, even before I joined Empower Network, you know, this is something that I've that I've understood. And this is how I've gotten as far as I've gotten, however far that is. And I know that when I tried explaining that to you over and over and over and over and over again, it just smelled like bullshit because you were still a bit, you know, in the old paradigm at the time. And no matter how many times I tried to tell you, you'd still pay your torture tax, you'd still try to drive yourself crazy, You'd be like, why isn't this working out exactly as I want it to work out? And, oh, this is such a hassle, and I'm following all these steps, and it's so agonizing and annoying, and i got to post well, this every day see, and this do that is, every day. Dave, I'm going to cut you off for a second, because like, this is what I'm trying to like explain to you, is that this this thing works best because it is a blog. It is a platform for people to build stuff on and launch off of. I'm not going to like tell you yeah. how to use it because like exactly. there's there's basics there's basics of just kind of like figuring stuff out and just like technical setup and stuff like that but as far as what you blog about I don't care like you can use this for literally anything and and connect with any audience and we can show you how to do that because that is what the training is for and that is what like some of these things are for <laughs> is we teach you how to fish so you can go fish yourself and we teach you, exactly. like, we, we give these tools for you to be able to use your imagination, you know, that thing that society would rather you not use sometimes because it wants <laughs> you to prescribe exactly. you, like, this spoon-feed you everything that you need to do in your life. But that is part of being an entrepreneur is having, exactly, exactly. Is having that creative mentality. And in any book you read, it's going to talk to you about that, like, 
the book Think and Grow Rich. They talk about the creative imagination being one of the fundamentals of attracting wealth. You know, all of these things are extremely important, and you have something inside of you that the world needs. You have something inside of you that no other person has. No other person can say it the same way as you. And that is what I'm here to help bring out of you, is because I would like to inspire you to be able to share that. And, you know, I, I know Julia had to get off, but she has a very interesting take on things. And, you know, I would love for nothing more than for her to actually reach her target audience of people who really are needing help. Like, she has amazing work, and she's done amazing writing on, like, the topic of human sexuality. And, you know, I personally think that that is an extremely repressed extremely repressed <laughs> like topic in our culture and the way that she handles oh, it yeah. with such poise and elegance is amazing to me and that's something that I wish that more people than just like a select few people on Facebook could see do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, and mm -hmm. you Dave, you have extensive knowledge on the topics of paradigm shifting and metaphysics and all of these ki kinds of things and I would love, and you are doing this with your YouTube reach you know, I know Michael can't yeah. talk for himself right now, but um, I know you're 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 some sort of an artist. I know that much of you, and I don't know exactly what it is that you're wanting to do with your business, which is one of the reasons why I want to talk to you is because like I, I want to know more about you. But Stephen, what is it that you're into? What is it that you're into? What do you have to contribute to this world? Um, I've been dabbling in a lot of different. Can you guys hear me? I can hear you a little it's bit. It's choppy. Uh, it's choppy. It's extremely choppy. Okay. Um, my directions right now. I've been trying to focus in more, um, you know, on different topics and doing with like the spiritual awakening and stuff like that. Hmm. Okay. One thing that you I guys been, hear me? <laughs> uh, yeah, a bit better. One thing I've been okay. learning to do to do better, which is also very important, is when you align with your authenticity and you express yourself genuinely. I like to say that the number one thing you could do to piss just about everybody off is be yourself, because society is just so defensive and everything. I've had to learn though that. When other people act like that, that's still their right to be themselves, right? I mean, mm -hmm. who am I to sit here on some cloud or something and be like, oh, no, you mm -mm, you can't be like that to me. You know what I mean? Well, of course they can. And that's a part of, you know, getting beyond one's own ego and to realize that, yeah, we live in a very fascist society. That's a blunt truth no one wants to hear and is incredibly offended by. But, you know, it's just like being able to speak these truths as you know them and these perspectives as you know them and be yourself and know that it's okay if someone gets, uh, you know, offended and all pissy pants because that's just them being themselves. So, you know, like who am I to tell them that they can't do that? Or shame on you for reacting like that towards me. Da, da, da. No, they have the right to react like that towards me if they want to. Who am I to say they don't? So that's mm -hmm. one of the important things. Exactly. What do you have to say about that, Katarina? I know you've dealt with that sort of the situation too. You know, the Kyler Davenports of the world and so on and so forth. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes, I, I have, but, you know, just keep trotting along, just keep moving forward, because, you know, yeah. those people, they teach me lessons, but I don't really need them, ultimately, in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Value in all experience, right? Mm hmm Michael, uh, Michael M., I don't really know how to say your last name. Are you still around? Okay. What is it that you're passionate about, and what is it that you really want to do in this world? Like, because I've seen some of your blogs, and I think that they're really cool, and I think that you find a lot of really great content that a lot of people, you know, it would be really helpful for people to see. So, what is it ultimately that you want to achieve with all of this? I'm gonna give them a moment to type and everything, but. Michael Edwards, are you still there too? Can 
can you type in the chat box what it is that your main goals are, like with being online and having your business online? Like, yeah, everybody needs to make money and everything like that, but what is it that's your, like, passion? What is it that's driving you, both of you? There's always ways to make money on your passion. Exactly. So I'm just always. wanting I'm wanting to know what's, what's the driving force for everyone, because that is, if not the most <laughs> important thing to discover. God, when people are really good at things, I hear so much they tell me, it's just a hobby. It's like, oh, yeah, as if hobbies aren't like a multi-billion dollar industry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I have run across some amazing painters and artists and stuff like that, like literally that just kind of like have stuff stored in their basement. They don't do anything with it. And, you know, they're working crappy jobs at like cafes and stuff. <laughs> that they hate and they don't even they don't even realize like the potential of what is there for them and I'm just like are you fucking kidding me <laughs> exactly they're, they're like but but I just enjoy doing this I can't make money on it oh, or they're like it would be it would be wrong for me to make money on that that would somehow be scamming people wait a minute making money doing something you love is doing something wrong whereas making money suffering and doing something you Paid and making hardly anything is is somehow morally right and justified. Who put that bullshit in your brain? Oh wait, school did. That's what put that in there. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so I'm gonna read their answers just for the video feed and everything like that because obviously it's not gonna record the group chat. But Michael and obviously. and how do you say it? Miranda? Miranda. Okay, Miranda. Michael Miranda says, um, basically sharing knowledge to help people open up to who they truly are and can be. Like, that is why I was so attracted to Empower Network. I am very into the met metaphysical and expansion of one's own consciousness, and I believe in just sharing all of that with people and also making music. Haha. -ha. Michael Edwards says, main goal is to achieve freedom of place as I want to travel full-time in four years when my, my girls are old enough to take care of themselves. And um, Michael says, yeah, traveling the world, and I want to have freedom to see all the beautiful places in our world. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, that, that all really jives with what I want to do, too. Um, Michael Edwards, is it something that you're doing online with your other blog? Because I know that you're running another blog right now. And I'm curious as to what it is that you're doing with that blog. Like, what is what do you blog about and what what do you do pretty much cuz i know that on your work thing on facebook it says that you are a hippie potter or something is that right and i've seen pictures of you like doing um, artwork and stuff uh, would you say that's like a passion of yours i'm just waiting for the answer but um michael miranda you have such a cool last name, but <laughs> Miranda. What is it that um, you personally can like bring to the table? Are you are you like making videos? Because I know that you were friends with one person who was friends with like Reese Jones, and like you know, there I I just kind of saw like a group of you. Like I know you were friends with Justin Parker too. Um, I actually went to Hawaii with him. I don't know if you knew that, but he used to make a lot of lucid dreaming videos. That's awesome. That that stuff like blows up on YouTube, don't you see? Yeah. But um, do you still make videos? Okay, Michael Edwards, you said you're a potter. That's really cool. Um, do you post your work anywhere? Or are you going to post it on your blogs? Michael Miranda says, yeah, I used to make a lot of Lucy Dreaming videos. Met Reese Jones, and um, no, I haven't in a while because I'm moving in a lot of changes in my life. You know, um, Michael, one of the things, the reasons why um, 
the mobile app. Do you have a phone? You said you don't have a phone yet, right? But your does your girlfriend does your girlfriend have like a smartphone or anything? Because something that you can do is if you don't have internet like on the laptop all the time, it, it's it's quite easy. Like even if you do have you know like library surface, uh, you can literally just kind of like be putting stuff up and it should not take that long but you can start like building that back up and building back up your audience because I'm sure that you had an audience when you were making lucid dreaming videos and through an activity you kind of lost them like like this is something that I struggled with for a long time was like I would you know come in and do something really cool and then I would just be silent for a long time and Dave would get really mad at me because I would be kind of um, kind of <laughs> like like boring to my audience but he is you know constantly putting out videos and content like every day and that's how he builds his subscribers and that's how he builds his his audience viewing and everything like that right Dave not mad right. just not mad just more than a little bit annoyed because it's like you were like all this aw awesomeness and like you know it's 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 like the story of the eagle and the chicken the eagle thinks it's a chicken like no I'm not this beautiful eagle that can fly and do whatever I want I'm this chicken just pecking in the thing here and you know and it's like trying to trying to show her her awesomeness was a challenge for a while there mm, it's true hey she she's hit me literally I literally hit Dave Kelso when I went to go visit him in Chicago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've had the I've had things. the pleasure of hitting him. <laughs> Anyways. Yes, um, most most people wish they could hit me. She didn't have to wish. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, so Michael Edwards, you have a gardening page, Happy Hippie Gardening. Um is that on Facebook that you have that? Because I know that gardening and hippie gardening at that is a really popular thing that, um, you know, Dave Kelso, he actually has um, a page called Pondscape, and he has a YouTube channel for it, and you actually make money off of that, right, Dave? Like the YouTube Partners Program? Yep. And yeah, he does, and he does gardening. That I, I, ra I raise and sell fish and all sorts of stuff. Um. Let me toss up the newest video. Um, give me a moment. I have to actually locate the newest video. <laughs> it's around your but, but my 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 point is is like why I'm gathering you all together is kind of because you know more minds. Oh, I I think for me the more minds the merrier. You know I think more minds are better than just one sitting there like in your box. And I just kind of want you all to kind of branch out and see that you know this is like a really legitimate thing. People are actually you know, entrepreneurs online and they actually make their money online. Like Dave Kelso is completely sustained from his online income. I'm completely sustained from my online income. We don't have jobs. We don't now you know, a little jobs a little disclaimer that. here. I'm not exactly rolling in the dough. Katarina's making more than me. But the point is is that when you get into this stuff, people expect to make a lot of money like right away. But really it's more like growing a tree. You can't plant a tree seed today and expect a 40-foot tree tomorrow. And it's okay for things to take the time that they exactly. take. So just let things take the time that they're going to take and it'll build up. When I was first starting on YouTube, first I was making like 5 bucks a month, then 10 bucks a month, then 15 bucks a month. Most people would have been like, what the hell, that's nothing, I give up. So that's why you have to enjoy what you're doing and make the money secondary. After a while, it built up to hundreds of dollars a month, but it didn't start that way. And I mean, this is also pre-Empower Network and everything like that. So I mean, you've definitely been building from like the ground up, which is cool because I think it, you have a lot more patience than most people do. Like they see something like Empower Network and they're like, I made three blogs. Why am I not rich yet? Like, like they do crazy yeah, shit like really. that. And I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, oh my God, it's a scam because I didn't plant a tree seed today and get a 40 foot fucking tree the next day. And oh my God, and it didn't time travel back and all these ridiculous freaking <laughs> like, I don't know where people come up with this stuff. It's like they say the most ridiculous things. It's like, really, you had that expectation and you're surprised that you failed? Wow. That's funny. 
Michael just asked me, um, yeah, I was going to ask something like that. Did you just start from the $25 product too and eventually go all in from your success? Um, actually, what I did, Michael, was since I wasn't investing money in school, I actually invested in my education with Empower Network, um, and I didn't do it all at once by no means. Like I did like the $25 for like three weeks, and then I was like, you know what, I really feel a resonance because that's how I operate is I really feel my way around things, and, you know, eventually I went and I wanted more. I wanted more learning and more training, and, you know, that that's kind of how I rolled. And eventually, like within three months, I think I had invested all the way to all of the prop packages that I could purchase, and that's how I did it. That's not necessarily the path that everyone's going to take, because, I mean, not everyone has, like, the means or the availability or even the belief that they can do it that way. So not everyone is that way. So don't stress if you are not that way. Like, I, I really encourage people to kind of follow their heart, their guidance, their intuition, because it's always going to uh, lead them the right way. Michael just said, that's why I've given myself a four-year plan. Um, yeah, I mean, some people definitely can achieve their goals in a lot shorter period of time than that, but a lot of that is belief as well as, you know, their, their own... Um, well, mainly their own belief in what they can do, and that's where part of these... Uh, products come in as it kind of raises the bar on your belief and so then people are actually able to achieve things faster in in ways that are more kind of quantum if that makes sense like, like I wouldn't have imagined the circumstances or the situations that allowed me to be able to get all in does that make sense like like if I had just sat there on my couch the first time I had seen, oh, $25. Like, I was thinking $25 was going to be an unbelievable stretch for me because I was completely unemployed. I was extremely ill. I don't know if many of you know that, but I, like, was extremely ill for a few years. And it was through the help of my buddy over here, Dave Kelso, who helped me do a lot of quantum paradigm shifting and everything like that, and even Tobias Lars, too. Um, that really helped me regain my health and be able to be, you know, here and cognizant and able to want to, you know, do any sort of entrepreneurship stuff because I used to be quite miserable and quite stuck in my misery and um, my self-loathing and all of that good, fun, yummy goodness. <laughs> right. um, yeah, so Dave, you, you hopped off for a second. Are you okay? Is your connection stable? <clears throat> I had momentary um, technical difficulties, but then I was able to just reconnect back in. That happens sometimes. Remember that kept happening to uh, Ashley a while back? Yeah, I do. That, that'll, that'll happen from time to time. That's um, normal. Okay, cool. This, is, this isn't a perfect infrastructure. Google Hangouts is Definitely still a very, not. <laughs> uh, very new um, application, so there's still kind of kinks to work out of it. So. so, Steven, I want oh, to make sure I address you over sorry. there. The what? newest Pondscape video yeah. is, is in the chat for uh, anybody who wants to check it out. Otherwise, um, anybody watching this video later on will have to just do a search for Pondscape on YouTube. But for those who are here, check the chat. I've got the link, and now I will shut up. Mm -hmm. What is it that you do, Steven? Right now, I'm going to school. Um, for massage and some energy work modalities. Mm -hmm. uh, polarity therapy is one of them. Cool. So just doing that and working on the side right now. Okay. So what is it that like really interested you in what it is that I was doing? Because you, you sent me a message like right before this hangout and asked me like about right. what it is that I do and well, what is it that attracted you to even look at this? Mm -hmm. Did you cut out? Inspired, I need to start expressing. Uh, sorry, my internet. <laughs> what did you uh -huh. say? 
I was asking you, uh, what is it that inspired you to even take a look at this? Because, I mean, I have a lot of friends on Facebook, and, you know, most of them, what I post kind of goes over their head, and there's, like, there's a, there's a select few of kind of different-minded people who are like, yeah, I, I resonate with that. So what is it, like, about me and my posts and whatever right. that kind of made you want to come out on this hangout even? <laughs> well, basically, uh, I saw those posts about you saying you're working from home and just seemed like you were really enjoying what you were doing, expressing um, what you wanted to express to the world, whatever you wanted to say. Mainly that you got to work from home and it seemed like you were supporting yourself doing a lot of that. Mm -hmm. Plus, I keep feeling called you know, to express more, to ex say something out into the world and get that that um, channel flowing. So that makes sense. That That's how things started for me too, is that I I actually started automatic writing. Like that is one thing that I did. Um, I was so deathly afraid to like share it with anybody and then I started like this really rink-a-dink like WordPress blog and then I started sharing that and realizing that even though I wasn't super promoting it, people were really resonating with what I was saying. And then I started to have like a little bit of courage to like make YouTube videos and then, you know, I started to build from there. But it was all this process of me kind of undoing the layers of a repression of myself and my identity and um, just my voice, really. And that's oh, kind of how this all right. started. She's been a paradigm shifting Olympic so champion, man. Sorry, go ahead. What are you saying, Stephen? Uh, <laughs> oh, I was. <laughs> I was just going to say that I feel those inspirations, like, you know, the way, you know, I guess you and everybody, but Tobias especially inspired me. Um, the way you just, when you feel something, I'll just speak it out and just immediately go and make a YouTube video or whatever. And I do a lot of writing. Like, I have a bunch of journals right here and... <laughs> I just wanted to start getting it out there because I feel like I do have some good ideas. That That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. I actually have a lot of people who are just like you. They're just like these really aspiring writers. Like one person who um, she's joining this week, I think, and she is working on her master's degree in um, child psychology or something like that. And She's just this really profound writer. Oh, and also the one of the women that I was going to have out as a speaker tonight who um, she's been writing since she was 12, and, you know, she works retail, and she's actually going to be going to massage school in November. I seem to attract a lot of people who are, like, into energy work and that kind of stuff. Oh, but, yeah, one thing, I, one thing I wanted to say before we get too far off track when Katarina was talking about her processes and unraveling like an onion, I just want to say she totally... Olympic paradigm shifting like a trooper because I remember when she was looking at me like oh Dave I can't ever make as much money as you or do what you're doing or blah 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 now she's like doing way more than me making way more money than me flying all around the whole fucking world I've barely been outside of Chicago and it's like she's doing way more making so much more and I remember a time when she when she was just like oh I'll never be doing as much as you <laughs> I laugh I laughed then and I'm really laughing now because I told her, I said, I said, sooner than you think, you're going to be doing way more than me. Oh, no, 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 no. And now it's like, it's like, <laughs> you know. I'm not going, so ha because like, you've helped me so much through all of that. Like, no, I'm saying, ha ha, because I told you how <laughs> awesome you were. I told you how quickly you were going to bypass me. Oh, I could not bypass the great and almighty Dave. I'm not great and almighty. Shut up. I'm just regular human. I'm not a saint. Here, let me prove it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. That's funny. So she's really gone way above and beyond me, and I told her she would. <laughs> so is your pay based on your audience? That's that's actually not how it works. Um, some of the other tools that Dave can show you does does kind of ring in that category. Um, like, don't don't you do like Bubble WS or something, Dave? And you make like a nice passive stream from that, just from your viewership. And then your YouTube videos, it's you get paid through your YouTube. But for me, yeah, I'm commission I mean, based. Yeah. I'm commission based, it's and I can make hundred percent. I make hundred percent commissions, and 
you know, whoever becomes an affiliate can make that too on whatever product it is that they own. And so um, a lot of people in my team, you know, they're they're still kind of newbies, so they're still at the $25 product, and they're kind of getting their toes wet. Like, I remember my uh, one lady, like, last week, she was like, oh, my God, I got my first $25 sale. Oh, my gosh, it's, like, so amazing. And I'm like, that's awesome because, you know, I really congratulate that because that's where that belief level is built is, like, people see that, you know, you can make your first $25 online. And it's amazing. It's like an amazing amount of freedom that comes from it. Mm-hmm. Like I was, yeah, I was actually at Dave's house in Chicago in April when I fir- made my first twenty-five dollar commission. Like a couple weeks after I had joined Empower Network, and I was like, "Whoa!" You know, because I was just <laughs> like, "Like holy shit!" You know, I am not a fuck yeah. up. I am not like this person <laughs> who's doomed to be poor for the rest of my life. So it was like one these thing. notches of belief, you know, that's kind of how it built for yeah, me. Yeah, and, and one thing people got to realize, too, is that it's important to have multiple simultaneous streams of income because, like, I haven't made any money from Empower Network yet directly, but what I have done is Empower Network, because it is a network of people empowering each other, I've made money indirectly because I connect with people and, and just it, it, sp- it spans out. So all this other stuff I'm doing, I end up obtaining demographic viewership from people who are in Empower Network and the people who know them and the people who know them. So even though I haven't yet made money directly from Empower Network, because I have the blogging system, because I've been talking to people, because of my connections in with Empower Network, that has brought me more views to Bubble WS, that has brought me more views to YouTube. I've made money indirectly because of that. That's why it's important to have multiple streams of income and then link those streams, cross-weave them. That's very important. So if you're not making money directly directly from one, that one is making you money indirectly by way of another. It's very important. Yeah, it's a really cool system that Dave has kind of showed me over the years, but he recently just became an affiliate, and I know he hasn't really done much promotion of Empower Network himself, because, I mean, he's still kind of been tipping around in it and just kind of, like, trying to figure it out, and, you know, because he is pretty occupied with some other things that he does, so he kind of takes it by synchronicity while he, well, I just kind of flung myself into it and was like, I want to know this and I want to know it now. So, um, you know, whatever your pace is with whatever it is that you're doing is totally fine. Um, you know, I, again, it's a platform. It's something for you to build on as you will at whatever pace you will. But it's Honor definitely your possible. Pace. Honor your pace is Honor, Honor your basically pace our except- motto. Yep, respect your pace and figure out your own way. Because when you when you try things everybody else's way, it, it, it consider it like a test drive. You're test driving a car. You're not obligated to buy the car. And everybody else's way is only supposed to inspire you to, to figure out what your way is. Everybody else's way is not going to be your way. No, Nobody else's way is ever going to be your way. That was a big hard one for Katarina to learn and a big hard one for me to teach her because she was trying to latch into everybody else's way at first and it wasn't working. Finally, when she gave herself permission to develop her own way, boom, success just exploded out of her ass. So. <laughs> Wow, that's, that's kind of cute. She had the par- <laughs> she had the paradigm she had the paradigm shit. That's why I call it paradigm shitting. And then poo success exploded out of her ass when she finally gave herself permission to be herself and do things her own way and to allow other people's way to inspire her to give her ideas. But everybody else's way is not the boss of her. It's just no. inspiration to give her ideas. Like if you really are trying to like. Ad- conform yourself to somebody else's mold, that's a good way to drive yourself absolutely neurotic. And I, I did that for way too many years of my life. And, yeah. um, you know, it made me absolutely ill. So that is when why I am a to, big advocate when, of, you know, just please yeah. listen to your intuition. Yeah, and when and when she tried when she tried to mold after my way, I think she could tell you how much she wanted to kill me. Uh, yeah, and I, I kept trying to, and I, and I kept trying to, I kept trying to tell her, don't do that. 
<laughs> just, you don't have to do it my way. I don't want you to do it my way. I'm just showing you how I do it so it can inspire you to your way. But Stop you know, Dave, to do it my way. Dave, I mean, I think that that's really how I've been taught and how most people have been taught is that, you know, you see something that's working, you think that immediately molding and modeling right after them and not having your own creativity because your own creativity and your own individuality and your own imagination is like bad, wrong, 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 wrong because you don't know any better because you can't trust yourself because your trusting of yourself got you into trouble in previous situations and you're bad and you're wrong. Like, like that's, that's kind of that's the like, that's premise like, that I was like, operating under. Yeah. That's like thinking that just le just knowing how to play the piano is going to make you Mozart. Wrong. <laughs> Mozart was Mozart because he was Mozart. He had his way. True. Everybody's got to find their own way. Just knowing how to use a tool is not going to have you master that tool. The only way to master the tool is first master yourself. Embrace I want to. I want to. I want to answer something back because I I missed this. Michael said it lagged. I think I know exactly how it is. Uh, I started with automatic writing as well before I actually started um, talking and making videos and not doubting one's words and self. I think that's really what this boils down to. I mean, all in all, in a nutshell, is um, coming back to that. You know, be yourself to the fullest type thing. And you know, I have a group on Facebook that says that. You know be yourself to the fullest because I really want to instill that message upon people is to with whatever it is that you do you know I have people who like they join Empower Network and then like they don't really want to be a part of it anymore because they don't understand it or they're like they have like weird con connotations about it or something <coughs> like that and they just kind of like stop talking and like that is kind of the message that I really don't want people to get from me is that I'm never here as like the cracking whip. I'm never here to make you be something that you're not or you know, you're never gonna hurt my feelings if for some reason one day you end up not wanting to be a part of this anymore. That's cool. I still wanna know you and I still wanna help you and I still wanna help you in whatever way that I can. And um that's just like kind of something that I want to just loop in there really quick because that kind of made me think of that. Unless, but. And, and, unless your name is Dave, then she's going to get real mad. No, I'm kidding. Actually, I wanted to say I appreciate all the kind things you've been saying about me and everything, but I wanted to acknowledge that you have taught me every bit as much, if not more so, than I've taught you. It's been a two-way street. Thank you. I want to acknowledge that because you're sitting here saying all these good things about me. I don't want people to get the impression that I've taught you all this stuff, but oh no, Katerina hasn't done nothing for me. Of course she has. She has helped me. As a matter of fact, she's helped me with things that no one else has succeeded in helping me with and that I haven't even succeeded in helping myself with. It was her being my best friend and being who she is that finally got me beyond certain bumps in the road that I just, you know, had spent years trying to get beyond and I just couldn't freaking do it. And it's because of Katarina's help that I was able to do it. So I want to make sure I acknowledge that here. Thank that you. needs to be acknowledged. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Another, another goal of mine in having these hangouts right here is because I really want to be able to help all of you who have all come to me separately and individually um, kind of get to meet one another and get to see that you have camaraderie and you know other people who are in the boat the same boat with you and you're not alone and you're not um, just kind of flung out to the to the wide open sea without a life net or whatever you want to call it life raft there are a bunch of free-spirited um, free-thinking entrepreneurs here too who are all a part of this you know because this is really a movement this is people who are wanting to have a different way of life like you know both of you Michael said that your your dreams your goals your your ambitions like the, the calling deep down in your heart is for you to be able to live a life beyond you know what you're currently living right now one where you're free to be do and have what you want and that doesn't mean you need to have an exorbitant lifestyle where you're driving Ferraris and like having like women fawn all over you and fan you with like palm leaves or something like that's not the goal here it's not to become like 
greedily, corruptly rich. I mean, it's just like, people just really, at this point, they can't even fathom that. That's not even reality to them. But, like, being able to survive in a self-sustained way, like, that was my first goal, really, is I wanted to be able to have the freedom to just have money, <laughs> to just to be able to pay my bills. Like, I wanted to be able to be self-sustained and not have to be, like, a leech on my family because... Self-sustaining is, yeah, self -sustaining. Very, very important. Exactly, because, you know what, here's the classic mistake people make, um, especially seeing as we are existing in a, in a fiat, paper-based money system. If you spend money and then you buy stuff that's not going to help you be self-sustaining, you're just catering to that disposable society mentality. The key is is to also become educated as to what's going to sustain you. Spend money on things that are going to be around for a while, that are going to make your life easier, and that are going to make it so that you're not having to spend so much money. Because saving money is a form of abundance. The ability to not have to spend is a form of abundance, and people forget that. It's true. Like, like with Even if you have like a little garden, let's say you're living in an apartment, and all you can have is like a couple little plant pots and you got your little full spectrum grow light. Well, if you if that little garden even saves you two hundred dollars a year on your grocery bill, that's two hundred dollars a year on your grocery bill. You know, come on. <laughs> you know, I was gonna interject something about that. Like like the whole goal of this is to be able to make more money than you spend. And so you actually have like that room. Um like for one of me, one of the things that I want to do uh, in this world is I want to be able to um, be able to start like putting resources into like building sustainable communities and sustainable infrastructure because that was something that really changed my life was being able to go stay on um, a wolfing farm in Hawaii for four months last year. Well, and I've been wanting to do that. It, it, it changed my life yeah. being able to work in a community like that. But the problem that I saw, the one problem that I saw was that people really didn't have a reliable way of bringing in to the community. Um, they didn't really have a way, and then it kind of created a little bit of like internal kerfuffle and chaos because there was bickering about money issues. You know, we're still in a world where money is um, a valuable resource even though it might be fiat and it might be all this other stuff, like, there's still reasons for it. And to be able to, like, even have the the money that we need in order to build the sustainable community, like, eventually to be able to get it to be to the point where it really doesn't <coughs> need money, like, that that's important to me because where I lived, you know, it was completely self-sustained for the most part except for, you know, we were building on additions, and so we needed some the supplies for, like, lumber and, like, all these other um, uh, tools and everything like that. But for the most part, it was an organic farm that, you know, we were getting it to the point where it would just kind of be recycled and everything would be self-sustained and, like, we had, like, solar, solar electricity and solar fridges and you know, solar washing machines, like that kind of cool stuff. But I wanted to, like, my dream is to be able to, like, have more of those that are more accessible to more people. And one of my my dream homes is actually a tumbleweed tiny house. Um, I've posted pictures about it, and I've blogged about it, and I've made videos about it, and stuff like that. But, you know, that, like, it subsists off of, like, composting toilets and stuff like that. Like, you can have your own gray water tank and everything like that. It's, it's just it's the coolest thing to me. It's, like, really, really small, but, like, I'm a very simple person. And even though I want to make a lot of money, it's not that I want to be, like, some corporate, like, <laughs> you know, like, sitting up on my cloud. No, you I really be, want... You want to be an be example to, to others. You want to be an example to others I, I, so I that they can cool know that, that it's real and it's not it. BS. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And just even even since making the amount of money that I have, I've been able to contribute in ways that I wouldn't have otherwise been able to. And exactly. that is something that I really want for more people because I know that there's a lot of good-hearted people out there, especially energy workers, people who have like these hippy dippy hearts that you know just want to save the world and everything like that and 
Dave taught me a really good adage one time that said that in order to um, in order to share your cookies, you have to have a plate of cookies first. And that's basically how I how I view it now is that I want to have a nice plate of cookies that I can you know share at will and being being able to be of help and service to the world. People always try to help help other people when they can't even help themselves and they wonder why it's not working. Exactly. Can I make a quick make Can I make a quick suggestion? Yeah, and then we're there probably going to wrap it up pretty soon because I know it's pretty late okay. for some of you. So, for people that are looking for a way to do exactly the sort of stuff that she's talking about, like a simple way, a basic way, like any idiot can do this. Okay, check this out. There's this book here. It's called the Free Food and Medicine Worldwide Edible Plant Guide. I'm going to show this here. No, I am not a co-author. I don't make any commissions on book sales or anything like that. I'm showing you this because it's worked for me. I'm, I'm trying to get this into the camera view right here, but it's being um, ridiculous. I'm trying to angle it up. Um, free food and medicine. What most people don't realize is that the food that we eat is very nutrient deficient. It's done up that way on purpose to weaken us so that we're good little slaves. So the reason we eat so much and get so fat is because if you're if the food you're eating is packed in nutrients, you're not going to be very hungry at all because your body's going to get what it needs and then it's going to say, okay, cool, you can stop now. But if the food is nutrient deficient, then you're going to run into problems. Now, this book outlines plants that are growing for free everywhere. I mean, make sure you identify it properly. Wash it off, of course. Make sure you clean it. <laughs> Don't and eat poisonous things. Plants, <laughs> yeah, and now these plants might not exactly taste too great, even the ones that are good for you, but that's okay because what I do, when you dry out the plants, you can powder it. And then you could take that and mix it with spices that you like. Like let's say you like oregano or you like chili peppers or whatever. You make it a powder mixture, mix it with things that, that do taste good, and it'll all blend in and it won't taste horrible. It'll taste good. Then you could take that and put it on any of your other food that you're eating, whether it's pizza or bologna sandwiches, whatever it is, I don't care. Lace it up with it. And what you'll find is that you're eating less you're not as hungry, you're eating less, and because you're eating less, your food will last longer. Right now, I have like a three-week surplus of food on that freaking shelf. I was never able to do that before. I, I think it might, might be kind of like an important like kind of side note as we wrap up is that they've, they've, they've actually like lost a crap ton of weight, and um, you know, he, he is been able to have his own healing health journey and everything like that and I commend you Dave because you've been yeah. a really tremendous person for yeah. me to learn from yeah. as I've Thank had you. my own healing journey and but, everything. Yeah. So. But for people who want to save money and get yeah. a little healthier, that's I true. mean that's that's a good way. The book is 40 bucks and, and that knowledge is yours to keep and you could reference it at any time and the plants growing wild, well they're free. You don't gotta pay nature. They're growing my, out of every sidewalk Dave, crack Dave, everywhere. Dave, my mom just uh, texted me and she said, "What the hell is Dave doing?" <laughs> I guess she's watching. <laughs> what am I doing, really? Uh, I don't know. She must have not been watching the whole thing. But anyways, um, it's about ten thirty p.m. <laughs> for me, guys, and this has been going for about an hour and a half. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up, but. I want to make these things more of a regular occurrence just because I think this is really good for all of us to be able to kind of come reconvene and sort of touch base because that's one thing that happens often is people kind of, you know, they flounder away and, you know, as, as we grow, I mean, obviously it'll be a little bit more harder to get, like, more people on the Hangout and obviously there was a lot of people that didn't make it to this Hangout just because inconvenient a bit, like, they didn't have availability and stuff like that, but... Um, I just, I want to thank you all for spending this time with me and helping me thank kind of you. test out this Google Plus Hangout for stuff. And, uh, <laughs> just, if you have any more questions, um, oh, my mom says I love you, Dave. <laughs> oh, well, I love you too. 
<laughs> and um, Kat, Kat, Katarina, you can explain to your mom later as to just what the hell Dave is doing. There okay. is a method to my madness. There is method to your madness. But I'll, 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 I'll let you go there. You can explain it. Yeah. But, um, yes, especially you, my Power Network peeps, Michaels, the, the Michaels, Dave, and um, Steve, and if you still have questions, you can definitely talk to me about it on Facebook and stuff. I think that's Absolutely. probably good for you to be able to like, actually see that I'm a real person and like interact yeah. with me and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> I think that's the one thing is like people just see like text and a picture on Facebook and they're like, is this right. real? Is this bullshit? Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, right. yeah. Um, yeah, so. Oh, hey, Katarina, sure seeing as this is... Seeing as this is saving to YouTube, I just want to make sure I mention one thing. Um, yeah. Make sure you mark this video as Creative Commons be, uh, after it's processed because then what will happen is there will be a little button called Remix when okay. people are watching the video and it will allow them to it will allow them to upload it to their channel without needing to like download it and re-upload it. They That's just got to hit the Remix you. button. You've got to mark it as Creative Commons first. So Definitely. Just let you know. Definitely. Well, it was really great talking to all you guys, and um, I'm sorry you, Michaels, didn't have webcams to like join in on this because this was pretty fun. Even though the text chat was really fun too, but um, I really appreciate you guys. And I really Jay's watching too, by the way. Oh, that's cool. Thanks. Hey, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> I really think that you guys are important, and so I really want to like treat you as important and show you that you are important, and so I'm taking time out of my Saturday night with my boyfriend to come spend time with you all. So take care and um, have a good night, everyone. And yeah. Michael Edwards, I know. You and I, you and I got to talk soon. You and I got to talk soon. We haven't done that in a while. Good long okay. heart to heart. We'll, we'll talk soon, Dave. Thank anyway. you for having us on. Catch you take later. Take care. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night, everybody. <laughs>